Hi there, in this video we are going to be discussing re dot, okay, or red dot or something like that. Because, well, this is one of the main alternatives that have been uh, being developed in the uh, last days. So we're going to be checking all the details out, what red dot is, when is it going to be released, etc. So if you really want to know more about red dot, this video is for you. First of all, all this uh, started on September 27 when uh, this was posted in the official Gidoge Engine account and basically a lot of people started to be banned, blocked from GitHub, um, etc. Uh, because of expressing different opinions or posting here uh, some stuff okay, that you can uh, already imagine, okay? For some people, this means literally nothing and they continue using Gudot as if nothing had happened. But well, for other people, this is really such um, a step in the, in the wrong direction that they are creating, that, that they created a fork of Gudot. So as you know, Gudot is open source, so basically the code is available for free out there on the internet, on GitHub more specifically. So basically these people, what they did, is let's say grab that uh, good old code and created their own go go dot called red dot okay why did they do this because they do not want um to mix uh, politics with game development as it is uh, said that good old did here they want to avoid this um and actually they got uh, some interesting audience already building red dot um contributing to it because you can also see the, 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 the number of followers that they have. And this is a pretty new account. As you can see, it was basically created on uh, September 29th. And um, basically just two days uh, after um, the, this post, okay? So it is such a new account and they've got an, a, a massive uh, following. So, so that is amazing. So basically here it is what Red Hot is in their first post. Red Hot Engine is a new open source fork of Godot with the goal of fulfilling the promise of Godot because as I as I stated uh, some people believe that what Godot did here is basically uh, against their own uh, code of conduct because basically they were mixing things that shouldn't be mixed with the game development okay um and uh, well on Friday uh, there was like a, an event here on Twitter in which they were uh, announcing its launch okay we're going to be discussing that uh, but well, basically in the in the last days, they were uh, just, for example, reposting here some stuff. For example, real developers are just uh, going to abandon the project. Um, so basically here they are mentioning Red Dot. Um, well, more and more people doing the same. And once again, I believe uh, that as far as it is stated here, this is the main why uh, that they have created this fork. And basically what they did is that they created a Discord community uh, in which they are trying to build their a brand new community and basically download the source code and from there start updating it and adding more things. And even though there are people that have been contributing to the project, of course, well, they were suffering some trolls and, and more things. And also if you want, you can pause and read this post in which well, they are just uh, clarifying some stuff such as that they are not uh, getting paid to do this, etc. And the, that, uh, for example, there has also been a, a harassment a campaign. Um, and well, basically yesterday, on, on Friday actually, um, they, they had this event over here of over two hours of uh, duration, in which they were talking about the, the actual, the official release of Red Dot. Um, but well, in which they received feedback from the community. But well, right now the first build, the first build is not uh, ready. Okay, it's not posted right now. We still have to wait. Uh, we don't really know when this is going to officially release. But well, uh, they are uh, quite close to this. And for example, the harassment continues until literally uh, today or right now, just ten hours ago. And well, that is mostly all that we have uh, for Red Dot. Uh, here on their Twitter, you can see uh, its Discord server. Uh, you can also see the GitHub that we are, we are going to be checking next. And also YouTube channel. Right now, their YouTube channel is empty. Uh, they, they don't have anything here. Um, 
but well, once again they have here uh, 2000 subscribers in literally something like three or four days so it is amazing the the popularity that has gained um so indeed what i wanted to state here is that of course for some people this is just a discussion that is on twitter and that it will not affect their development or uh, the engine itself but well you can see that indeed th there are still a lot of other people uh, th that are um, quite annoyed because of this and you can you can uh, see this because here you have over 20k devel uh, developers that are mad at this then you have other 2k over here on youtube uh, with literally no videos um so indeed it is something that it is really dividing the community into two so i believe that it is not worth it say no the it is just uh, a Twitter drama um, because it isn't, okay? Because there are a lot of people that is annoyed because of this. Um, so anyway, uh, the next thing that I want to comment on is basically their GitHub, okay? So right now, here we have it. Red Hot, a fork of the good old engine. And we're going to be taking a look at what they have been building here. Um, so they are building their own uh, documentation over here. We also have here the actual Red Hot engine, um, and also here it has over 3k of, of stars, uh, so once again this means that the community, at least some part of it, uh, really likes uh, the, this idea, and also see at the, the, the number of comments that it had, and I don't think this, uh, this repository has that much time uh, been existing, so we'll check when uh, was the first comment. But whereas it is actually a fork from the official video, I don't think we're going to be able to to get so much information. Um, and also then here on Twitter they have a, a community with over eight, a, a, sorry, seven hundred members. Um, of course, here we have a developer. We'll be switching my my game to Red Hot Engine once it releases. As you can see, uh, once again, more people that uh, relies on this project. Um, some fan arts of the um, of the logo, and for example, here they have answered some uh, questions. Uh, for example, how do you plan to address the very technical expertise still existing in Godot and moving the Red Hot forward? And basically, uh, in summary, they say that they have very good developers, so we shouldn't worry uh, about this. So anyway, uh, we will see when Red Hot is finally like released. I hope that this week uh, it is done. And well, as soon as that is uh, there, I am going to be creating here a brand new video. So if you actually want to learn more about Red Hot uh, and be the first one on knowing when there is new information on this topic, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.